I was born and raised in the Latrobe Valley and have worked in the power generation industry there for over 40 years. I sometimes joke that I work in a CO2 factory because we actually produce more tonnes of CO2 than we do megawatts of electricity. I'm passionate about this issue because I see our industry crumbling around us and I'm frustrated at the lack of policy and leadership being committed. I openly stick my hand up and acknowledge that we need to move away from the use of fossil fuels. But without a plan of action, who is going to pursue this? Sophia. I really think that um, industry can take the lead in this area, but if governments can um, give a little bit more support to R&D and helping companies get through the valley of death, we can create a really vibrant industry in Australia for sustainability jobs and for CO2 processing into different materials. Jennifer Westacott, can, should business do it themselves, regardless of whether government is providing the big plan of action? Well, business is already doing uh, lots of things in this space and we can talk about some of those examples. But to your very important question, I think we've all got a responsibility to kind of find a way through this. And that starts with where do we want to be? You know, and, and the science tells us that where we need to be is a net zero emissions by 2050. So let's start there and let's work our way. What are the milestones? How do we so hold ourselves accountable? What are the technologies? How do we create jobs in regions? What are the new jobs? How do we accelerate technology? How do we do this in a way that preserves affordability, keeps prices down? How do we do it in a way that keeps reliability up? Uh, how do we do it in a way that grows the economy? Uh, how do we do it in a way that brings the community with us? Because we have to, surely, after this summer, draw a line in the sand and find a way through as a country that means that we come together, we bring the community together, we find a way through so that your future and the future of people in the industry that you're in is a lot more certain than it is at the moment. So, so what is the BCA saying on net zero by 2050? We're saying we have to get there. We have to do the net zero by 2050. And should the government commit to that, legislate for that? Well, I think that would be a start, Hamish. I mean, the how really matters, and the how matters to the question you've But just asked. setting that timetable and that objective. I reckon, Hamish, if we could get the two political parties to agree to that and legislate it, we would have made a massive advance in this country because we would know where we're going. And for business that does want to take action in this space, that would at least give us a kind of certainty about well, where are we heading. So this Zali Stegall bill today that you're familiar with, yep. that's basically what she is yeah, yeah. giving the parliament the option to endorse. Yeah. Are you saying to the two major political parties, the business community says tonight, do it? Well, well let's be clear for everybody what she's proposed, but it's very sensible what she's proposed, that we set the net zero uh, emissions by 2050, that we set uh, five yearly carbon budgets, as she calls them, where we try and say, well, what can we do over a five year period? And obviously that has to be about what technologies are in place, how does the economy respond? How do we make that transition? How do we hold ourselves accountable? To me, that's a really important starting point that she's put forward. And it's a very, to me, it's kind of, uh, you know, pretty basic that we start there. But make no mistake, and she acknowledges this, that the how really matters. The how matters to your question. We've got to get the how right because we've got to create those new jobs. We've got to manage that transition. We've got to make sure we bring the community with us. We create those jobs in those regions. But to be honest, Hamish, what she's put forward today, I think is a really important start.